guys, before I start this video, I'm still collecting money for the orphanage in Gambia. Guys, we're still behind our target. Please donate. The link is below. Be generous. Only a few days left of Ramadan. Please, please, please. Smart Jenna. <laughs> Asalaamu Alaikum guys, welcome to another episode of Smalta Jenna. I know there's a lot of loyal Tommy Robinson fans, so you know I ask you to watch this video and then come up with your own conclusion. Because we all know Tommy Robinson doesn't lie. I speak about Islam. I tell the truth. I'm honest about it. Why is everyone bullying him? Yeah, it's not like he calls Islam. What do you want me to say? Yeah, it's ideology, it's got no place. Yeah. Yeah, it's got no place, bro. Now, why are a lot of people still following Tommy? Well, that's because Tommy Robinson is taking a genuine concern of the British public and poisoning it with lies and bigotry to forward his own agenda. But my problem is the amount of sexual assaults that we've seen by Uber drivers in the UK, the amount of crime we've seen by Uber drivers in the UK, in London, all the Uber drivers in the UK are Muslim immigrants. All the Uber drivers in the UK are Muslim immigrants. All the Uber drivers in the UK are Muslim immigrants. I tell the truth. For Tommy Robinson to say all Uber drivers are Muslim, it's just silly. Let's check out another one now. Another one. And the, na the name of his mosque even, this is another one. The name of his mosque is called Luton Islamic Centre. If you Google Luton Islamic Center, you'll find the real Islamic name for it, which is Gulaba. Gulaba comes from, well, I can't say probably, but that word comes from a hadith. And it is the Islamic men that come in to convert and take over the country. That's what his boss is called. I tell the truth. Here's another one. Another one. Now this was taken from the Q&A after his Oxford Union speech. Now for some reason they took that off their YouTube channel, but I managed to get it from a, a mirrored YouTube channel. You also said I walked into a library and asked for a book on rape, genocide and killing and they handed me the book out. So these are, these are very generalised you know, statements yeah. about the whole of this stuff, about people who follow this stuff. Anyone can photoshop a tweet, as, as happens many times. I get told I've said this, I've said that, and many of times it's the first time I've heard it. This don't look Photoshop to me, mate. That's four years ago. Right? That's four years ago, is it? Four years ago. Uh, I wasn't on. Now, well, I wasn't on Twitter four years. I wasn't on Twitter four years ago. Yeah. All right, guys. As you can tell by the date, this talk took place in 2015. According to his Twitter, he joined in 2011. 2015 minus 2011. Elementary maths is four years. I wasn't on Twitter four years ago, yeah? I tell the truth. Now, let's have a look at another one. Another one. This is thousands and thousands of Muslims. And the reason why I'm doing this is to show you the comparison of why we felt angry. These men, many of them have got faces covered. Some have got balaclavas. Translated what they're saying is about killing the Jews. Allahu Akbar, which many of these newspapers translate Allah is the greatest. But Tommy Robinson didn't get the memo apparently. Alright, so here's a video where Tommy Robinson is categorical where he says he wasn't ever an extremist. You say you're not an extremist, but where are you an extremist? No, I've never been an extremist, ever, ever, ever. Were you not a member of the BNP at one stage? No, we, we've gone through no, this. No, I'm we've just trying, trying to remember. Oh, we've done this in you, 2009. You, weren't you a, a member at one stage? I was a member when I joined because of what was right. happening in the town in 2009. Right. Wasn't ha That's what, quite an extremist organisation. Well, didn't you say? So you were an extremist? No, I wasn't an extremist. Now let's compare this with this video where he compares himself where he is now with how he was. I've had to change completely myself, who I am. When I hear people say, are oh, you you this, you that. I think I'd have acted so differently on many subjects like eight years ago like, compared to how I act now. Now here's another recording another one. where he's speaking to uh, I think a member of Big Brother or whatever and she's obviously speaking her heart out 
And then she keeps giving this kind of vibe that, you know, are you recording me? You know, and then they kind of deceive her by saying, no, no, take that camera away. I'm really worried that that's on. Here, look. Okay. And look, that's, that's okay. on. Um, I'm not being recorded from that. You're not being recorded. No, I've got more coffee now. More coffee now. No, that's what it's, it's on. It's not on the phone. No, no. Yeah, the bottom line is, if you Google me, you'll, you'll read it all. But the thing about it all, I mean, I just don't like the hypocrisy. Of the I tell the truth. I'm going to end with a favourite of mine now. In this Oxford Union speech of Tommy, he goes out of his way to say he's not targeting all Muslims. I don't want for one minute to you, for you to think I'm tiring all Muslims as bad. I'm not saying it's all Muslims. The vast majority of Muslims are not involved in this in any way. I'm not trying to portray all the Muslims in Luton are like this. I didn't just wake up one day and think, you know what, I hate Muslims, because I don't. So I'm not saying all Muslims are bad. I took the liberty to look through his tweets and uh, let's see what they say. Kids go to fancy dress parties as pirates who were killers, liars and cheats. Will kids in 20 years go to fancy dress parties as Muslims then? Are these hashtag clowns allowed to eat and drink now? Hashtag got a date with some hot Muslim chick actually. How do Muslims practice safe sex? They mark the goats and camels with a red X. That kick over half of all Muslims in breed. Backward weirdo, who in their right mind would want a piece of their cousin. Hashtag inbred wrongans. My Britain's never been all white to me. I don't want it to be all white. Just don't want bombs planted. My Muzrats, that's all. So Muzrats is a combination of Muslim and rats. Muslim on moon, hashtag problem. 500 Muslims on moon, hashtag problem. All the Muslims on the moon, hashtag problem solved. Hashtag it's just a joke. And I thought my jokes were bad. Eid my bollocks, my friend. It's pointless. What do Muslims in Iceland do when it's like 24 hour a day? Hashtag die. They don't. They actually follow the sun pattern of the neighboring countries. What have I failed at? Hashtag hook nose. That hook. Hashtag scum in a burqa. Muslim men must chuckle to themselves when they look at their wife in a tent walking five feet behind them. Why? What have I done? Why are people on his case? Leave him alone. So let's have a look at uh, this post of Tommy's. A Muslim shouting Allah Akbar has just attacked police with a knife in London. Now I took the liberty of actually clicking on the link because let's face it, yeah, a lot of Tommy Robinson's followers are not going to click on the link. They're not going to see if he's actually telling the truth or the accuracy of the news. They're just going to take the headline and what Tommy Robinson has said. Here's the proof if you don't believe me. Now this woman hasn't read a book since school and now the first book she's going to buy and read is Tommy Robinson's book. But he doesn't hate all Muslims here. Yeah? Now when I actually clicked on this link, it said the incident is not being treated as terror related and the man is suspected by police to have mental health issues. That didn't stop Tommy mate. Tommy says dangerous Welsh Muslim convert who had guide to carrying out a knife terror attack is jailed for five years. When you actually click on the link, you actually realize that the judge himself says, I am not of course sentencing this defendant for preparation of terrorist acts himself. They go on to say he was actually put in a medium secure mental health unit after he attacked his mother. You'll probably find a verse in the Quran where we're asked to do that as well. And it goes on to say he's a young man with a history of psychiatric illness. Another Muslim jihad attack stopped today as counter terror police arrest man with knives outside army reserves. Sounds serious. There's nothing to indicate a threat to the premises on Birmingham Road or any link to the terror attack in Finsbury. The man's motives are not yet known. Why don't the police ask Tommy? He knows them. Birmingham man to be stripped of British citizenship after working in Syria for group linked to Al Qaeda. Clicked on the link of course, Mr. Razak first travelled to Syria with an aid convoy. The Home Office declined to comment on his case, so obviously we can't be sure. There appears to have been no evidence presented that Mr. Razak had used weapons or received training whilst in Syria. Now again, these are from the same links that Tommy has shared. I'm not defending any of these people. All I'm doing is putting certain bits that Tommy should have mentioned from the article in front of you. A lot of people say we just need to speak to Tommy. Yeah, 
Maybe he'll understand it. I've seen a lot of Tommy Robinson's interviews, his speeches, his dialogues. Here's why I think Tommy won't change. He's gone through a lot of personal experiences when he was young, which he's now internalized. So it's an emotional battle for him. He's been attacked and suppressed, which has made him vindictive and belligerent. Number three, whenever he speaks to decent Muslims, which trust me, he's spoken to loads, he just says, they don't follow mainstream Islam. I, I'd say that you're standing here as a, as a decent lad because you haven't been brought up under Islam. Other people don't accept their interpretation. The Quran needs to be revised. It's a hateful scripture. It needs to be changed. He even joined Quilliam, which is not accepted by Muslims, initially government funded and they don't even follow mainstream Islam. He even had an issue with them as well. Yeah. He's just got an issue with Islam. That's the bottom line, guys. So what I think we need is less Islam. Yeah, okay. Yeah, less Islam. Yeah. That doesn't mean less Muslims. Yeah. It's unfair and it's not right to be labelling an entire group of people as extremists and racists, right. which is what we're seeing now.